Hi, I'm Arius, and I play Blades. In my last video, we reviewed some of the basics of enchanting, including how to, some of the more prominently used enchants for PvE and PvP, secondary enchants, etc. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I strongly suggest watching it first by clicking the card link on the screen. In this video, I would like to give you the results of my own testing that has helped me to determine, in my own opinion, what are the best enchantments of the game. Mind you, this information is limited to my own knowledge and comprehension of game mechanics. It is important for all our viewers to realize that, again, this is my own point of view from how I understand the game. So to break down my point of view, here are some background information on my builds. First off, you absolutely need to utilize the loadout system if you're not already doing it. The loadout system helps you to change quickly between armor sets. Currently, you are given 5, which in my opinion, we should have at least 10. The key to beating opponents in this game, whether it be PvP or PvE, is to use a set of armor that will best resist the type of damage your opponent can do. For example, if my opponent had a frost sword and my armor had resist slashing damage and frost damage, then it would be very hard for that opponent to do damage to me. Same thing goes with other elements and weapon types. Also remember, certain sets of armor have natural resistances built in. Daedric Mail resists slashing and fire, Stalrim for bashing and frost, Dragon Scale for poison and cleaving, and Glass for shock resist. So really, you could put together sets of armor to resist all combinations of that damage, but in reality that would be quite a feat. You would have to have a lot of inventory space to keep all those pieces and attempting to build and upgrade that many sets will take an insane amount of materials. So. Unless you're up to your armpits and gems, you'll have to be like the rest of us and grind your face off, or make do with what you have. For my setup, I mainly run two sets of armor. One set focused on physical resistance, with some variations of spell resistances, and the other set for spell resistance focus, with variations for different ways to mitigate physical damage. This way, I maintain two sets of armor and focus on upgrading those pieces. If I happen to pick up a piece of that set with different stats or different secondary enchantments, I'll keep it so I can customize the mitigation as needed, saving shock resist pieces for opponents that do a lot of shock damage and other elements as well. Weapons are much more obvious. You basically want to pick the weapon that will either drain your opponent's resources so they can't do as much damage to you, or the weapon that focuses on their physical or elemental weaknesses. With that said, let's get right to it. Here are the best defensive primary and secondary enchantments in the game, in my own opinion. Starting with the chest, head, and boot pieces. In our first enchantment video, we talked a bit about the importance of having health on your armor pieces. For the most part, that still holds true, but I also said that the increased healing effect secondary enchantment bonus was very strong. After having the opportunity to test other sets with different secondary enchantments, I found that the one of the best ones to have is spell resist. The reason it is very strong is because it's a flat resistance to all elements. So instead of stacking fire resistances on all your pieces, you can just pick up spell resist and use primary enchants for something else like health. The next best is resist physical damage while health is critical. By stacking this, you make yourself very hard to kill when your health gets at critical levels. This gives you an edge that allows you to pull out one or two more combos at critical health. So just when your opponent thinks they have you beat, you come
come back with a crazy combo with just a sliver of health left. For that reason, this becomes a very solid choice for secondary enchantment options. As a third choice, 16% shortened elemental conditions help with damage mitigation when you are affected by the conditions of the element the opponent is using. Fire damage won't burn as long, frost won't slow you as much, etc. And as an okay enchantment, the healing bonus secondary enchantment isn't bad in PvE where you eat food, use adrenaline dodge, absorb, etc. Now, don't think for a minute that I'm ignoring cleaving, bashing, and slashing resistance, because to be honest, those are some of the strongest situational resistances to have. Why situational? Because opponents in the arena switch weapons and armor so much that it's very difficult to predict what their loadout will produce. But in those cases where you believe you can predict what the opponent will use next, by all means, max out those specific resistances. For example, divine weapons have become very powerful in the arena. Thunderfell, Baradin's Axe are among these powerful weapons. The good thing about using these weapons is that you know exactly what you are getting when you spend your sigils. However, the bad thing about using these weapons is that your opponent knows exactly what you are getting when you spend your sigils. So if I see a Baradin's Axe, you know I'll be popping the Resist Cleaving and Resist Frost loadout. Or if Thunderfell is ever revealed in battle, I'll go for the Resist Bashing and Resist Shock loadout. Let me emphasize that this method of gameplay once again requires a lot of inventory space. While it is the most efficient way to play the game, not all of us are there quite yet. So if you only have limited inventory space, either get more or focus on two specific sets of gear to switch between that have the most general resistances like spell resist or increase physical resist. In short, as of the making of this video, I believe the best enchantments to have on your gear to make the most effective, well-rounded build is going to be health primary enchantment with spell resist and resist physical damage while health is critical secondary enchantments. I believe the max value for those are 122 health, 17 spell resist, and 26 physical resistances. You can stack those on up to three pieces total to give you 266 health, 51 spell resist, 78 physical resistance at critical health. Ideally, the best setup would be to put those in chance of every piece of resist gear, stall room glass, daedric mail, dragon scale, to create four very powerful defensive setups. But if you're trying to max out one specific set for best in slot enchantments, my opinion is to stick to primary enchantment health times three, spell resist times three, and physical resist at crit health times three. On to the gauntlets, jewelry, weapons, and shields. As these are all pieces that affect offense, I will cover them together. For gauntlets, any of the primary enchantments are a good pick. It just depends on what you need for your build. But your options are restore health, magic, or stam. You also have increase fire, frost, shock, and poison damage based on damage done. I recommend stamina, but that's because of my own playstyle and bias. For secondaries, physical damage ignore armor rating is one of the best ones because of the DPS that results from it. Using this in conjunction with a two-hander that has the combat enchant is completely brutal. Or even piercing strikes. Skull Crusher. You can pretty much cut through the opponent's block. If you're using elemental weapons, I suggest using either Elemental Damage Ignores Resistance, Increase Elemental Damage Against Targets Suffering a Condition, or Increase Physical Damage by X Amount Against Targets Suffering a Condition.
the next best is prolongs target's elemental conditions by 16%. Otherwise, the increased primary enchantment is helpful on this as well. For rings, primary enchantments are completely up to you. I like having a set of frost rings to boost my frost damage when going full ham on someone with my frost weapon. Or fire, or lightning, or poison. It's a good idea to experiment with what fits best with your playstyle. For secondaries, I would go with the ones that match your gauntlets to stack those stats. Ignore armor rating still is one of the strongest ones out there, so having that on rings and gauntlets can really make you hit like a truck. With necklaces, again the primary enchant is up to you and your build. I like using again Stam Regen for PvP and Health Regen for PvE. As a secondary, 20% shortened stun is a must have. If you can get Ignore Armor as the second one, I'd call that a perfect roll. And finally, for the weapons and shields, if you're using an elemental weapon or shield, the best secondary to have is the enchant that supports your elemental type. For frost, it would say frost damage is X points more effective at freezing, etc. For non-elemental weapons and shields, do not use ones that increase your elemental attacks as they will do nothing for you unless you use an elemental shield or sword as a combo with that item. For next best secondary is reduce max stam and max magic. Reduce max health as of now isn't really that helpful. I would say it's helpful in PvE however I find that draining stamina in PvE is very strong, just like it is in PvP. The other secondaries are pretty much up to you to determine if you need them or not. But in the testing I've done, these are the combos that provide the most damage output. So to sum it all up, for defense, enchant your armor with all health, primary enchantments, and spell resistance, and resistance while health is critical for secondary enchantments. For offense using gauntlets and jewelry, a generalized good setup is whatever primary enchantment suits your build or playstyle, health, magicka, or stam. For secondaries, use physical damage ignores armor rating and elemental damage ignores armor rating. Any of the other ones that increase physical or elemental damage are good choices as well. You could tweak your build with elemental primary enchants to boost DPS that way, so play with it to see what you like better. Weapons and shields are up to you. Just remember to support your elemental damage with the appropriate secondaries and use Drain Max Magic and Max Stamina. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and sub if you haven't already. Your support is huge in helping me publish more content. My name is Arius, and I play Blades. Cheers!